Hi guys, how are you doing? Welcome to today's pick a card reading and it is his current thoughts. I hope you are doing great. Welcome to anyone new. Welcome back to anyone returning. My name's Kat. I hope you enjoy today's reading. It is a short snapshot reading. If you would like your own in-depth personal reading on any topic, love or otherwise, you can check the description box below for a link to Etsy or my website to book a reading. Okay guys, his or her current thoughts. If you are new to this channel it might be the overview of your relationship or an answer to a burning question regarding the relationship if you are a regular this is an update for this week here we go so his or her current thoughts for group one knight of swords we've got the high priestess page of coins three of wands and the star um okay uh so let's have a look here so what this is looking sorry this is the dog has jumped on my knee and is <laughs> rocking the table apologies for that okay so she wants to get involved in the reading she wants to bring her good energy that might be a sign for one of two of you <laughs> okay so here's her current thoughts he's coming through or she's coming through as the knight of swords okay so there's a kind of coolness to this person they could be an air sign but this person, I feel, is feeling kind of detached and cool. With the high priestess, this person could be being very mysterious. They could be very detached. You could be in a non-contact period. Um, this person is feeling very analytical, very up in their head. Um, like I say, they don't seem... They don't seem immature. Um, they seem, but they they're very practical. They're thinking very practically about their situation. They're not thinking emotionally about the situation, and they do see hope in the future. I don't feel like this is someone who's being cold particularly. I feel like this is more someone who is just more of a practical nature. They are seeing hope in the future with the heel card. This is the star. But they don't see an opportunity yet with the three of wands. They're hopeful for the future, but there's no opportunity at the moment. The page of coins says they feel like it's a good start with you, with the situation. They feel it's a good start um, and they've had a good start, but it's never been allowed to get beyond the start. It's never been allowed to manifest. It's never been allowed to actually transform into anything else. So the king of swords would say that, you know, they're, they're pragmatic and they're practical about the situation. They're hopeful for the future, but at the minute, there's no opportunity. This could be why they're quiet. This could be why they're mysterious. This could be why they seem a little detached. There's just no opportunity at the moment, but they are trying to think of possible ways and they do feel excited about how this could manifest in the future with the page of coins. You know, they do think it's possible. They've not given up hope by any means. So I hope this makes sense. Those are love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or in a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon. Hi, group two. So this is his or her current thoughts for this week. We've got the Knight of Coins reversed, the Sun, the Five of Coins, the Hierophant, which is the Teach card, and the Four of Cups. So this person feels like they... It's like they feel like they haven't <laughs> they feel like they haven't really learned. They feel like they haven't really got it. They haven't really learned. Things aren't quite progressing as they would want them to. They don't feel like they're getting where they want to get. Um but they haven't given up hope. They feel lonely or they feel cast out. They feel on their own. They feel detached in some ways. They feel like they haven't really healed something or learned from something. They still haven't sorted something out. They haven't given up though. With the teach card, the hierophant card, they feel like they're sticking to the track that they're on. And they, they do have the sun here. So this is a complex person. This is a deep thinker, I feel. This is someone who it could be quite hard on themselves, could judge themselves quite harshly feel like it's their own fault that they're where they are, etc. 
But the point is, with the Four of Cups in the future, this person feels like they're not ready yet. They're not ready yet to take the new opportunity. They feel like they've got to see through or see out that which they started. They feel like even though they're lonely or things aren't going the way they want them to, they've got to keep going. They've got to find their way. They've got to do the right thing. That said, like I say, they are hopeful for the future. They are hopeful for the future. They are generally feeling a sunny energy so they are feeling like you know they are appreciative of what they have they're grateful and they know they're learning right so this could be quite a spiritual person because i feel like this person's saying you know i'm not really getting where i want to be i feel kind of alone i feel like a loner i don't really feel like i know what i'm doing fully but i'm willing to learn i want to learn i want to heal i want to do the right thing etc so this person is going deep and looking for where they can heal where they can move forward and they are very appreciative that with the sun i feel like they feel they're on the cusp of getting it but for the moment with opportunity beckons for a cups they feel like they can't take this new opportunity or they can't move forward with you or with anybody right this moment because they've got to get this thing sorted out whatever this thing is for some people it's an old relationship it could be a marriage you see five of coins and the teach card together here could be a marriage could be an old relationship they've got to get that sorted before they can move forwards or it could be just something that they've set out to do it could be a, a commitment they've made at work or to a family member or to a friend and they're like they've got to do it even though this is kind of leaving them in a kind of position where they feel a little bit like they haven't got everything they need or it's not feeling like it's working out quite the way they wanted they've got to follow it through that's how it feels like to me so i hope this makes sense loads of love guys i'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading in the meantime see you soon hi group three how are you doing i hope you're great today so this is his or her current thoughts the chariot the ten of wands the four of coins the ace of coins and the eight of wands okay so this person really feels like they want to move forward. They could be taking a trip with the chariot. They could be moving forwards. Chariot and the eight of wands, they could definitely be moving. There's a sense that even if they're not physically moving or taking a trip, there's a metaphorical moving forward. Things are becoming unblocked. They're overcoming the physical obstacles and they're looking to move forward. With the ten of wands, they're feeling a great sense of responsibility. They've got a lot on their shoulders um they feel like there's a heavy weight it might not be something bad but they feel like a huge amount of responsibility that they've got to get sorted out with the four of coins they're feeling like they haven't got everything they need this could be greed as well this is someone clinging on this is someone wanting to hold on to what they have this isn't a, a good energy it's a lack energy Actually, this person doesn't need to feel that way, but there could be a, like a miserly energy here. Could be a bit of a martyr energy as well with the clinging on energy of the four of coins with the ten of wands. It's like this person could be kind of trying to set, playing the victim a little or being like, I'm the one carrying all this burden. That said, even though this person has these energies, they do feel like with the ace of coins in the towards the end of the layout here, they feel like there's some hope in the future. They feel like the most important thing at the minute is they've done the groundwork. They've put the seed in the ground and now things can move forwards. They do feel positive like they're finally starting to move with the chariot and the eight of wands. They're finally starting to move forwards. They're finally starting to see a way forwards. And they're really, really positive and excited about that. Despite the heaviness, despite the difficulty, despite the clinging, they do feel like their hopes and their dreams are starting to happen with success and growth. So I hope this makes sense. Loads of love, guys. I'll see you on the next reading or on a private reading. In the meantime, see you soon.